here. I'm with my patient, King Cole. King Cole. We'll call him King Cole. <laughs> King Cole, you got an unusual looking knee, my friend. Now, you're in line, you said you're going to have a knee replacement soon, right? August. Uh, you mind telling us your age? 65. You're 65, okay. And you've been having knee problems for a long time. And you've had to have it drained even once before, right? Just since uh, uh just since the uh, getting it, the, everything finalized for the for the surgery. Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, you called your orthopedic doctor, and they didn't reply. Well, I left a message. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't call you back. Well, they always do that. Well, we're gonna help you out. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> I don't like it that they always do that. Uh, so you've got a lot of fluid on this knee uh, to the point where it's your knee joint is actually hot. All right, mm -hmm. that's inflammation. Uh, your knee joint is also tense. The fluid buildup is very tense yes, yes. in your tender. Now, now, I do need to find some landmarks here. So here's the patella. It's very difficult to see, but the patella is right in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to make a little mark right where we're going to go in to get the fluid. Right here, okay? That's our spot. Okay. And you're okay if we video your procedure for all our friends on YouTube? Sure. All Can right, I appreciate that. Down. Yeah, a little beta dime, please. Got the Gumby Jean helping us out Hi today. Guys. You're our last patient of the morning this Thursday. Yes. You got plans for the weekend? King Cole? This is King Cole, Gumby Jean. King Cole. King Cole. I know you have plans for the weekend. Uh, I got plans, but this, this knee knocks, kicks, kicks me out. Well, we're going to hope that the knee doesn't kick you out. Now, the next part of this I is. I got to work. You got to work? Yeah. We're going to do a little bee sting on you here, okay? okay this okay. is just a little numbing medicine. This isn't the actual spot where we withdraw the fluid, okay? So okay. this is just a little numbing. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's all. And he's, all we're doing, Mike, is, oh, is oh, didn't mean to use your name, my friend. Well, no, wait, Mike's pretty common. I don't think you're worried <laughs> about that. We're just raising up a little blood so that it doesn't hurt when we put the needle in. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we've got a big 60cc syringe, and we're going to see if we can get some fluid off of here. We're okay. just going to insert it. And then we're going to draw back and we're going to start getting this fluid. Now, if you hurt a whole bunch, you're going to tell me. So, this is what we would call serosanguinous. Gumby Jean, I may need your help. Okay, what do you need me to do? Well, we may actually get more fluid off of here than this syringe is going to hold. You need another one? And we might need another one. Also, you could kind of massage the knee a little bit and push that fluid up just a little bit. You feeling okay, partner? Mm -hmm. Try to relax. That's the biggest thing here. Sometimes just taking off 30 or 40 cc's of fluid, which actually is quite a bit. Well, they took 40 last time. Did they take 40? Well, we're going to try to beat that, especially since they didn't call you back this time. Now it's already feeling looser. Definitely, look at that. Mm -hmm. now, it now, was tight. It was really tight. Okay. You know, I have one of those uh, Cajun injectors for my turkeys. I was going to use that. A Cajun injector? <laughs> I think that those are just turkey basters. Is what I think is all that is. Oh, sorry. Gumby Jean's a Cajun, you know. Yet I know we talk about careful. it. Yeah, she's a Cajun. Yeah. So yeah, now that feels a lot better. So uh, we've got about 35 cc's. So we got to work a little bit harder. We have, we got to at least match what they got before. There's only 40. Yeah, you see that fluid is all the way up in there. Sometimes it gets loculated or trapped a little bit. Now we're at 42. Let's get a little bit more out of there. Now they call this thing the meniscal. Well, you, you, my, it, my, you've got... I tore that thing 25 plus years ago. Yeah, you've got severe osteoarthritis. Yes, I, I do. I completely understand that you definitely need to have a knee replacement. All right, Gumby Jean, if you'll get the hemostat, uh, we'll, we'll give... I think you need a little cortisone to make your weekend a lot better. So and it's not going to make your knee any worse. You already know that you to have a replacement so we're not going to make things any no, worse okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, nothing there nothing yeah. there yeah 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 so so anyway a little uh i just gotta get back to work that's the one thing what, what kind of work you do i do pest control pest control okay i should spray clean this old office i think i might have sprayed this one too because it's yeah. been here a while now yeah yeah you know he's got what appears to be a, uh, an osteoarthrosis right here, okay? This feels like a huge calcification to me mm -hmm. coming off the tibial plateau. But laterally, it feels pretty good. So when you have a joint that's in yeah. this bad a shape, sometimes you gotta be real careful about where you put the injection, okay? I mean, as far as, you always wanna be careful, but I mean, as far as it's a little bit more complicated, we need to use the beta dial. And the reason it's complicated is the anatomy is distorted due to the significant osteoarthritis. Mm -hmm. 
Should I be taking some kind of a arthritis stuff? At this point, it does not matter. As you can uh, see, my, my, sometimes my wrist will get yeah. like that big. As far as your knee is concerned, you, the knee is lost. You're going to get a new knee. Um, and in taking a daily anti-inflammatory can actually increase your risk of heart disease and heart attack, stroke, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mm -hmm. tender, huh? Sorry about that, bud. All right, so she's going to spray it, and we're just going to give you a little bit of cortisone in there. Okay, okay. A little stick. Okay. okay. Just try it. We've got to relax that knee. There, just relax. Okay. I think it's just a little bit more scary than it is painful. That didn't hurt, did it? No, sir. All right. I didn't feel a thing. You just jumped <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> All right. So now we've got some cortisone in there, and that's going to make your weekend better. It's Thursday, but uh, so tonight, about an hour before you go to bed, I'd like you to ice your knee for about 20 minutes, okay? Yeah. Just 20 minutes, ice it up, and uh, you should get a decent night's sleep. Tomorrow, this knee should feel a lot better. Now, some of that fluid's likely to return. Sure. But the, the cortisone yeah. will help kind of slow that process down. Okay. Uh, when the orthopedic doctor calls, tell them you had to get it drained at your primary care doctor's office and they'll understand. Stay tuned for the Meta7 video. In your own words, tell us your experience with Meta7. Oh my goodness. It, I have a lot more energy, um, a lot more focus. I can go longer throughout the day without getting tired. I love it. I, I, I recommend it to everybody that I know. Do you feel artificial? Do you feel like you've taken a stimulant of some kind when you no. take it? You feel no. natural? Very natural. No I jitter? Feel, no, jittery. very healthy, very natural. Wonderful. Right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's right. Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I just reordered a 90 day supply. I have more energy and I'm in a better mood. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. I just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great. I love it and um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description. All right, folks, this is Emily, and Emily's been using Coco Skin Plus. Emily, um, you want to give your personal testimonial? I started taking Coco Skin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. Awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, I definitely noticed a difference. It's definitely helped my hair feel better, my skin feel better, and you can pick it up on Amazon. All right, check out Coco Skin Plus on m7amazon.com, available, and it was designed by Dr. John Gilmore. Thanks.